Hey Pete here for Studio Live today. Now something exciting has just happened in the world of GarageBand on iOS and that is that we have a brand new version, version 2.3.3. So yes, it's only a point upgrade version, but it's still pretty exciting because we've got some new features, some new sounds, some new loops, some new toys, there's a hint for you, to play with here in GarageBand. So let's jump in and take a look, let's go. Okay, so here I am in the App Store, and if we're looking for GarageBand, if we go into our updates, I've already updated, but if you haven't, you'll have the opportunity to update here. So here is the details of our new update. We've got a new downloadable toy box sound pack with free educational sound effects, including animals, vehicles, and counting to 10 in different languages. Sounds cool. This one's the controversial one that people are having some fun with. Use facial expressions and the True Depth camera for hands-free control. Over musical effects like guitar, wah, and synth parameters. And you'll see that nasty asterisk is telling us that this is only available on the iPhone X using the ARKit face tracking, blah de blah de blah I don't have an iPhone X, which is why I'm sounding a little bit sad and resentful about that. Anyway, we'll move on. We've got using facial expressions. We've just said that. We've got adds the modern wah guitar stomp box effect we'll have a look at in a moment and provides stability improvements and bug fixes, which all of our updates tend to do. Okay, so here we are in GarageBand on the iPhone, and it's very similar on the iPad or the iPod Touch as well. So the sound library here, under Create New Song, you can see up the top right here, we have the Toy Box, which is our new pack. If we tap on that, it tells us all about it. We've got 400 Apple loops, three drum kits, 10 keyboard instruments, and five live loop grids to explore. So I'm not going to go through all 400 Apple loops in this video, but I am going to show you the keyboard instruments and have a quick look at the drum kits, and then we'll just dive in and show you where to get to the loops and the live loop grids as well. So let's start by going and looking at these three new drum kits we have available here. So to get to our kits, we can go to drums and we're gonna tap on more sounds. And we can see here that we've got our old rock drummers, our beat sequencer kits, etc. And now we have toy box as well. So we've got three new kits. We've got the 70s rhythm box, the knickknack and the pots and pans. Let's start with this 70s rhythm box. And here we are, it's an electronic drum kit. So we don't have our drum layout, but We've got some very uh, cut off kind of filtered sounds here that we can use for some 70s kind of disco music here, I guess. I don't know. I don't use this sort of drum kit very often, but uh, hey, anything that gives you some additional sounds is a good thing in my book. Let's take a look at the Nick Knack Paddy Whack. Give a dogger. Well, that's interesting. Got some sticks, some claps. Well, I like that shaker, that's pretty cool. Sounds like a telephone being dropped, if anyone that can remember a telephone that actually has a bell in it. Um, congos, bongos. Yeah, I, I'm, the next one's called Pots and Pans, but that one sounds kind of Pots and Pansy as well, the knickknack. Let's take a listen now to the Pots and Pans. So it says this is a more of an acoustic kit, which it probably is, but it doesn't have a drum kit here because it's, uh, yeah, it's not actually real sounds. But let's have a listen now to Pots and Pans. <laughs> it sounds like a weird Al Yankovic song in the making with this one, like the doom do those sort of sounds. Again, very cool. So those are our three new drums, and of course, we can use them in our beat sequencer as well. So if we go into beat sequencer, we can load this up, and we can select which drum kit we want here. We can go into the recently added, go to our toy box, and let's put our pots and pans in here. And there you go, we can get a, whoop, we can get a, a nice beat without pots and pans here in Beat Sequencer as well. Now what I've been looking forward to playing with is these new keyboard sounds because I've heard good things about the new keyboards. So I'm gonna go through each of these keyboards here. Once again, we can use these in keyboard mode, we can use smart keys, we can do all the other things. As always, check out the quick tips I have below if you need information about how to play the keyboard sounds. But here we go. We are starting with our first instrument here, the mini marimba, which sounds a little bit like this. <laughs> Very cool. Definitely that toy box kind of feel. That's sort of the type of instruments we're going to get here. Let's go to our music box now. 
Again, sounds like the start of a children's program. I think the toy box is a good explanation. I missed the name of the next one. The toy Celesta. We'll have a listen to this one. Yep, again, very similar sorts of sounds, these toy piano kind of sounds, and don't disregard these sort of sounds as something that you'll never use, because a lot of actual real songs use these sort of toy instruments in them just to add a little bit of flavour and texture, so we'll continue on the toy glockenspiel now. That one sounds very cool. Uh, in fact, if you just take that down a couple of octaves... Kind of sounds like some med meditation music going on there. The Toy Melodica. This sounds, yeah, like a Toy Melodica. Uh, sounds like one that I actually had as a kid where you'd, uh, you couldn't make two sounds. Yeah, I had sort of a pan pipey type, type thing where you blew in one end and it made this sort of noise. Anyway. That's the Toy Melodica. Let's continue on. Toy Piano. This should be a bit of a classic kind of sound. <laughs> nice. I like it. Uh, Xylo Keyboard. That one's got a bit of a weird... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are... If you imagine those plastic keyboard keys, you can actually hear the sound of that plastic key being hit that's then hitting the xylophone glockenspiel kind of bit. That's pretty cool, xylophone keyboard. A simple bass. Okay, I think you're uh, lost and away from home here, bass. Still, it's a bass and it's simple. Who can argue? A cheap organ. Now, I'm hoping this sounds like an old school 80s, sort of 70s, uh, crappy Casio keyboard. Let's have a listen. It totally does. Can you play? You can play polyphonic, so you can play more than one note at once, which is a little bit less realistic, but... Oh, I always wished I could do that on my old crappy Casio little keyboard. I had a little white one that had like two octaves and you could just go. Yeah. Anyway, this is bringing back a lot of cool retro memories. Let's go to plastic keys. This is our last of our 10 keyboard instruments. Yeah, nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, can't instantly think of anything that that reminds me of. <laughs> no nostalgia for plastic keys. Anyway, we're going to move on now. Let's go in and have a look at our loops. So to go to our Apple loops, we go up the top right here. If you don't know how to use Apple loops, once again, we've got a video explaining all about it, which you can link up above or below. So Apple loops are a little bit annoying here because when we get a brand new collection, there is no way at the top here in the filters to actually search by collection. You can search by instrument, by genre, by descriptors. There's a whole bunch of different ways you can do it. You can search by keyword, but we can't search by keyword like toy here to go to the toy box. Well, we'll bring up some of them, but they have to have toy in the name of the actual sample or the actual loop, but there's no way to get to just the toy box one. So a little bit irritating, but what we'll do is we'll go in here because there was a lot in here that was sound effects, apparently, which don't actually seem to have an instrument. What about a genre? Um, there we go. So a lot of these sound effects, yeah, here. So all of these sound effects are in the toy box ones. So I guess that's one way to find these. So this is this is what I've been looking forward to play with. So we've got things like an aeroplane engine. We've got an air raid siren. Oh wow, I'm just I'm just thinking of the types of uh, tracks that people are going to produce with all of these now. Oh, the angry trombone. Oh yeah, uh, antique car start. And there's some of these uh, these NASA samples uh, a lot of people have been talking about. So we've got the Apollo 11, the classic quote here. That's one small step for man. So hopefully by playing that, I don't now get a copyright infringement on this video. Anyway, you can see here that all of these ones that uh, are sound effects are all in the toy box. And there's a whole slew of them here that we can play with. <laughs> scary sounding dog bark. I'm not going to go into all of these, but oh, so here, I will go into one more thing. So here are these one to 10. One, two, three, four. 
And apparently we have different, yes, yeah, so we have some French, some er, un, de, deux, trois. trois, yeah. And some German. Eins, zwei, drei. And so on and so forth. So we'll go back to the top of the loops. So there's a whole bunch more in here. I'm pretty sure there's some other instrument sounds in here. Let's just take that off and go in. Just go to our keyboard instruments, perhaps. Uh, some synth. Um, edges and angles. I know there are some. Anyway, play around. There are 400 of the suckers, so you're not going to have any trouble finding something cool to play with in the different loops that we have here. So the last thing that we have, and if you know what I do here, you know that I'm not big on the live loops, but we have some new live loops grids here. So if we scroll across to all the way to our toy box, then we've got our preset predetermined live loops grids that will eventually pop up here. And we'll turn on the monitoring here because we're monitoring through our out audio output. And we will go over to our grid and then we can start programming sounds here. So we'll hit play. And if you're a live loops kind of person and you're into that, then you've got some more live loops to play with. So that should be very cool because more is better than less. So there you go, a very quick overview of our Toy Box sound effects pack. Now we're nearly done, but there's a couple of additional things. Now I did mention that I can't show you the new feature that we have because I don't have an iPhone X, but we do have a new wah guitar pedal. So to demonstrate this, I don't have my guitar handy, but I'm going to jump in to my track here, the current track I'm working on for the birds, because I do have a guitar track in this one and I'm going to add this wah pedal and have a little play around with it. So we'll go into our track here, we'll get to the point here, we'll go into solo mode, and it's sounding like this right now. So if we go into our amp setting, which we press the amplifier, we go to our stomp boxes here, you can see we've already got a few stomp boxes on here, but uh, I'm not using a couple of these, so I'm gonna tap the fuzz machine, and now, over on the right-hand side, we can select the wrong one. And now we can select, you can see we've got a cool wah pedal here. So the wah can go on like that, and we can use our finger to do our wah effect. So I haven't actually tried this yet, but I have heard that you do have to do it while you're recording live, which I think is a little bit strange because I'd love to be able to add the wah after I record because, uh, because I can't use the facial expressions, I can't actually use this while I'm playing guitar unless I have a friend come over and they can do my wah-ing for me, which sounds a bit strange. Uh, let's just play and see if it does actually work or not work here. So there you go, there's our wah effect. Okay, I've managed to find a guitar because guitars are awesome. So let's, uh, here's my guitar. And what I'll do is I'll just play a little one-handed guitar solo here and record and see if we can demonstrate this wah sound. Just listening to that sound, doesn't it make you want to just like open and close your mouth? Which is probably why they had the thought that, hey, we'll use this facial recognition to make people be able to do wah. Let's just have a playback and listen to what that sounds like. Okay, I've done something completely wrong here because that hasn't even worked when I've recorded it with the wah going up and down. So this is a first look at this new version. Um, so clearly I need to do some practice and some work. So there you go, there's some homework for you. You, if you've played with the wire or if you have a chance to play with this, why don't you drop some comments about how you can use it and how it's actually going to be useful because I can't really see how I'm going to play it one-handed and then when I did play it one-handed, it didn't even work anyway. So, um, yeah, that's going to do it for here, but I do like this new update. I do like the new instruments and it has been three months since we've had any updates at all here in GarageBand. So anything new is good to me.
And there you go, that is it, the brand new version 2.3.3 with the toy box additions there. I hope you found this interesting. Now get in there, download these new sounds, this new version, and start creating even more here in GarageBand. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.